Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now using the link down in the description, deposit $100 and get two free shares valued up to $1,400. In this video, we're gonna talk about the beginner level of investing into real estate, which is buying REITs in the stock market. REITs are just companies that invest into different sectors in the real estate market and you're just buying shares of that company in the stock market that pays you back dividends. Now it's hard to get started up in the real estate market for beginners and the cost is very very high 20% down maybe $40,000, $50,000 on a house. But let's say if you have $30,000 how is that investing into real estate by buying shares of REITs. REITs allow individual investors to invest into real estate without having to buy or manage physical properties. Now, direct real estate allows investors to have more tax breaks than investing into REITs, and it gives investors more control over decision making. Many REITs are publicly traded on exchanges, so they're easier to buy and sell than investing into actual physical real estate. It might take a very long time to sell a house, it might take a very long time to actually buy a house, but with real estate REITs, you could buy and sell the exact same day. Now, the stock that we're gonna be looking at is ticker symbol O, Realty Income. It's a very popular real estate REIT that pays dividends monthly. But before we dive into the meat of ticker symbol O, make sure that you guys scroll down and hit that thumbs up button. Destroy that thumbs up button. One click helps out this video more than you can even imagine. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, here we are on SeekingAlpha.com. The ticker symbol that we're looking at today is ticker symbol O. Really, the income is at $62.72. It is a very popular real estate REIT with a dividend yield of 4.46%, and they had a dividend growth rate over 26 years. That is insane. They pay out monthly for around 23 cents per share. So over the last 26 years, they increased their dividend payout and they have a dividend yield of 4.46%. That's why this dividend REIT is so popular. If we go over to trackyourdividends.com, I'm going to leave this link down in the description. It's completely free to sign up. Of all my dividends, I have around $9,451 worth of dividends, which is gonna pay me out $461 annually because I have a dividend yield of 4.87%. If we type in O, oh, let's see how much I'm gonna get paid. Right now, I have seven shares of Realty Income. That is my REIT inside my portfolio. And it's gonna pay me out $19.66 this year. Just from owning this real estate REIT inside of my portfolio, I'm gonna get around extra $20 if I don't buy any more shares of ticker symbol O. Oh. If we look at the free dividend tracker, also on trackyourdividends.com, the dividend safety score is at 74. It's a pretty safe dividend score. If we look at the last dividend history, um, 2011, they was paying 14 cents per share. And now in 2020, they're paying 23 cents per share. So you guys see the growth right there. If we take a look at the stock popularity, it is the number one ranked real estate REIT on trackyourdividends.com. This is the most looked at real estate REIT on trackyourdividends.com. And overall, out of all the stocks out there on trackyourdividends.com, this is the number two search stock on trackyourdividends.com. That is insane. So the example that we're gonna use today, guys, is let's say if we have $30,000, this is the, um, the dividends calculator on trackyourdividends.com. If you guys want to try this out with your own numbers, remember the link is down in the description. It's completely free to sign up. I'm going to type in, let's say you guys have $30,000. Let's say if you guys want to do a 20% down payment on a, on a very expensive house, 30% down, but you wanted to invest into a REIT instead. Um, let's say if the, the price of O goes up over time and you're eventually reinvesting around or we're always gonna reinvest into our dividends just where we can have the exponential growth around $120 invested every single month. And then the return rate was 4.48% was their dividend yield for the next 30 years. That is the term of most mortgages, 30 years. Hit calculate return. Now, here we go. The first year you'll bring in around $13,000. 
$14,000 for the next year. So by year 10, you'll now have a $62,000 account just by reinvesting into the dividend REIT, uh, tickle symbol O, realty income. You started off with $30,000. The stock goes up a little bit. That's the 120, or you could just reinvest 120 every single month. But by year 10, you will have doubled your money. Now that is, that is insane. You could do that re with real estate. You could do that with real estate in 10 years, especially getting the tax cuts, but you will have doubled your money in 10 years just by investing into this real estate stock. Now let's say uh, tickle symbol all realty income is at $62 now, but let's say by year 10, tickle symbol O is all the way at $100 per share. Now you will have a lot more than just $60,000 in your portfolio. You'll have over $100,000 portfolio account. Now let's go to the end of the 30 year mortgage term. You will almost have a $200,000 account just by reinvesting your dividends back into Tickle Symbol O, and you'll be bringing in around $8,483 every single year. Remember, that is if the price of Tickle Symbol O does not go up at all. If the price of realty income don't go up at all, that is what you will be bringing in every single year, $8,483, and you will have around a $200,000 account. Now that is pretty sweet that you could buy and sell uh, this REIT anytime you want, and it is a monthly pan dividend stock. That is awesome, guys, with a $30,000 initial investment. Now here are some of the pros for directly investing into real estate. You will get positive cash flow and appreciation. You will have tax advantages and you will have control over your decision. The cons of investing into real estate is it requires time and energy. You never know when someone's gonna have to come and, you know, fix a broken AC or a leaky toilet in the middle of the night. You never know. Might not ever happen, but you never know what's gonna happen with that. Another con is the risk of financing default. And the last con is that it's not easy to buy and sell. It could take a while to buy some real estate and it could take even longer to sell it. Now the pros and cons dealing with REITs is you'll get real estate profits without having to own, manage, or finance properties. You'll get higher than average dividends and the potential for appreciation. And it's easy to buy and sell real estate stocks. The cons of buying REITs is there are no tax advantages. It's very sensitive to interest rate fluctuation and you'll have property specific risk. So here we are at the bottom line. REITs make sense for investors who don't want to operate or manage real estate, as well as for those who don't have the money to invest into real estate or can't get the financing to buy real estate. REITs are also a good way for beginners who want to get their feet wet with investing into the real estate market. You'll gain some experience, you'll get used to it, and then eventually you'll want to go out and own your own property. So these are two different types of ways. Today I was giving you all the benefits of investing. It's a ticket symbol O. I think it's a pretty good real estate stock. Let me know what you guys think about ticket symbol O or if you invest into any other real estate stock that you like in your portfolio. If you wanna see me talk about future real estate videos, make sure that you scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out, peace.